Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are doing an eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. I'm not very good at getting rid of things but I'm going to give it my best shot. And before I do get into it, just a quick disclaimer, anything that I get rid of, any palettes I say I'm decluttering, getting rid of, will be going to family and friends. So this is going to be a long one so I'm going to get right on into it. The first palette is this Revolution Pro New Neutrals and she looks like this. Um, it's a nice enough palette but I don't use it so she's going to go. Um, declutter pile will be to my right <laughs> and then the keep, uh, keep pile will be to my left. So next I have the, they're in no particular order, I'm just grabbing them, I've got a great big pile in front of me. So the next one is the Colt Candy Playhouse palette. Um, she looks like this. I absolutely love this one. She is going nowhere. So, uh, and next up is the Colt Candy Cosmetics Heavenly Urchins palette. And she looks like this. Again, absolutely love her. She's going nowhere. Then we have the BH Cosmetics Supernova. This one is going to be a tough one. She looks like this. She's absolutely stunning. Really stunning palette. However, I have not once put these on my eyes. So, I think it's time that one goes. Another one in the declutter pile. And then next up we have the Zoeva Warm Spectrum Palette. And she looks uh, like this. Absolutely beautiful. But again, I don't use this one. So, uh... Another one in the declutter pile. I'm doing well here so far. And next is the Zoeva Matte Spectrum. And she looks like this. This one, however, I do use. Um, I love these cool tones down the bottom here especially. Um, these greens. Uh, stunning. But yeah, so uh, she's staying. Then, next up, we have some Revolution, I Heart Revolution palettes. So we have the I Heart Revolution Tasty Avocado. I love the packaging on this. And she looks like this. Um, I don't know what you can see because of the mirror. There we go. And I love this one. Uh, so, not going anywhere. Next up is the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Orange and she looks like this absolutely beautiful palette but I don't really use it so in the declutter pile this is scary <laughs> and then next up we have the I Heart Revolution Mint palette and this one looks I like this beautiful palette um, but again doesn't get any use so in the declutter pile I think so far I'm, uh, I've got more in the declutter pile than the keep pile <laughs> next up we have the I Heart Revolution cotton candy and she looks like this I love this one absolutely love it so, uh, going nowhere. Ooh, the Anastasia ones are next. So, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Sultry Palette. I've still got the brush in there. She's a bit messed up because I do use her quite a lot. Um, you would think, being a neutral palette, and me being a colourful girl, that I wouldn't love this so much. But there's just something about these cool tone neutrals that I love. So that one is staying. 
The next up is the very controversial Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. Now, so many people really didn't like this. Um, I absolutely love it. I do have so many issues with this shade here and this shade here. They, uh, they're a nightmare to get to work. When you can get them to work, they're beautiful. Um, but I love all these grungy tones. I love them. And I don't have the issues that other people seem to have. So that one is staying. Next up, Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera. And uh, she looks like this. I do love this one. Especially for some of these shimmers. They're, they're really, really nice. So, yep, going nowhere. Next up is my favourite out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. It is the Alyssa Edwards. And on the inside, she looks like this. I think we can all uh, see why I love this one. The colours are stunning. So, another one that is staying. Then next up, we have the Urban Decay Moondust. And this one looks like this. I love this one, absolutely love it. Going nowhere, another keeper. So next up we have the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Um, gorgeous kind of peachy toned neutral palette that just doesn't get any use. Um, but I know my daughter has been eyeing this one up, so uh, I think that's where that one's going. And then next up we have the Tartlet in Bloom in Tarte and she looks uh, like this. Again, absolutely beautiful colours, um, beautiful palette, works lovely, I just don't use it. So another one in the declutter pile. And then next we have the Coloured Rain Queen of Hearts. This palette is a beauty. The reflection I'm not sure how well you can see the shades but it's for a neutral palette I love it going nowhere the formula on that one as well is amazing and next we have Laura Lee Los Angeles nudie patootie again another neutral um, but I love the tones in it and I love the formula so this one again going nowhere Next, we have the Tarte Golden Days and Sultry Nights. And this one looks like this. Beautiful palette, again, don't use it. So, in the declutter pile. So, next up, oh, is another Revolution one. This one is the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive. And if I can get this one open, looks like this I love this palette so much beautiful beautiful palette absolutely gorgeous so staying then next up the Bella Pierre cosmetics is the 12 color pro jewel eye palette I love the formula in this and some of these shades are absolutely stunning look at this grungy really grungy green down here which is one of my favorites so that one's staying and then next up the Colourpop Bye Bye Birdie um beautiful 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 palette I love the artwork as well on this look at the peacock feather so beautiful but these colours I love them I'm still not amazing at the uh Super Shock formula I'm not I haven't quite got the hang of that one still but the rest of them love them so that one's a staying and then next up profusion cosmetics it's the mixed metals peach palette and this one looks like this this one's a really really nice peachy neutral palette 
um, I do use this one so this one will be staying and I believe it's the only profusion uh, palette I have I do love that formula next up is my favorite so definitely definitely going nowhere it's the Ace Beauty Oceanic palette look at that how can you not love that stunning formula is amazing colors are amazing Staying. <laughs> then next up we have the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows is the My Holy Grail palette. Uh, it is another neutral palette but I do love um, the formula of this. I do love the tones in some of these colours. It's a perfect work palette for me so she is a staying. Next up OPV Yemoja. Love this palette. Absolutely love it. Look look at the artwork on it and then look at those colors she's beautiful so yes definitely staying amazing formula on that one too next one up is the beauty bakery do it for the gram love the packaging on it so cute and on the inside this is what she looks like I still I'm not a hundred percent on this one so uh, I do still need to play with it some more so maybe staying maybe going um, but we'll be sticking around for this round of decluttering anyways um, and then we'll see you next time so you're on probation next up is the masquerade by Juvia's I do have the large size one which they don't do anymore it comes in a mini um look, look at that how cute is that and this is what she looks like look at those colors i love the juvia's place formula absolutely love it especially the shimmers the shimmers are the bomb so staying next up is the magic by juvia's again i have the large size um you can only get it in the mini now on the inside there's the artwork how beautiful is that so stunning and these are the colors again absolutely stunning stunning color story I love it absolutely love it I think this is my favorite out of my Juvia's Place collection so beautiful beautiful palette definitely staying Okay, so next up we have this Ofra Signature Palette in Galaxy. She looks like this. I love this one. Love the formula. Especially love this highlight shade. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That one's staying. Um, this is what I have on my eyes today. This is the Elf Bite Size in Jalapeno hot jalapeno um i have this on my eyes today and i love it you would for a three pound palette the the formula is amazing absolutely amazing and these colors they're so me so me so that one is staying wouldn't part with that one um do you have another little elf bite size palette um this one is the rose water and she looks like this. Now I can see. Beautiful palette, beautiful colours. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really use it. So uh, that one's going in the declutter pile. Okay, so next up I have the I Heart Revolution Dark Chocolate. This is the a smaller one. Very cute little palette formula is quite nice and um, don't use it in the declutter pile and then the I Heart Revolution white chocolate and this one looks like this I keep saying I'm gonna try it um, I think it's just a, a bit too neutral for me so that one can go next up is this Stila matte and metal eyeshadow palette um, 
really nice tones um really pretty neutral palette um i did used to use this um i haven't had it that long really i suppose a few months um but i don't really use it anymore so yeah that one can go my only Stila palette too i'm sad to see these go um because some of them are absolutely beautiful palettes i just don't use them they're wasted staying with me and the next palette we have is from Makeup by Lisa. It is the Beach Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. And she looks, if I can get her open. Why can't I open you? She looks like this. Now, the, the shimmers in this one, um, they look beautiful and on the eyes, but have hard panned. But this colour here this brown with the golden is my favorite brown i for this shade alone i would keep this palette beautiful so that's that one in the keep pile next is another one from makeup by lisa that i haven't tried yet and this one is the island sunset eyeshadow palette and she looks like this look at those colors i cannot wait to get these on my eyes so uh yeah 100 percent going nowhere i know i wasn't going to swatch but i've got to i've got to swatch these two i, I need to see what they look like so let's have a look Oh, they are so pretty. Look at the shift in those. I don't know how well you can see it. But uh, that's just made me even more excited to try it now. And I've covered myself in eyeshadow. I promised myself I would not swatch anything. But there we go. So yeah, that one's staying. Um, next up is my Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. Um, she looks like this. Beautiful little palette. I do really enjoy this. I don't think the formula is quite as good as uh, it was raved about. Um, I don't know whether that's because I have some amazing indie brand palettes that just completely outshine it. But I love these colours. I love the tones of these purples. So that one's staying. Next up, we have the Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions. It's the pink Neon Obsessions. And she looks like this. I love these colours. Again, I don't think the formula is as good as uh, people seem to think it is. Um, I don't know if that's just me. But I do love the colours. And I... I've created a couple of really nice looks with this, so uh, that one's staying. Next up we have this Style London Devil eyeshadow palette. She looks like this. She's beautiful. The formula in this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I think it's the perfect Halloween palette, if, uh, if you ask me. I love it. Definitely going to be digging this one out for Halloween. And next, we have the Nabla Cutie Palette, Wild Berry. And she looks uh, like this. Love this palette. Love the formula. Love the colours. 100% staying. And look, look at the packaging. How beautiful is that? So yes, that one's staying. And next up, the Coloured Rain Berry Cute Mini Palette. Again, beautiful, beautiful packaging. And she looks like this. Again, I love these shades. I love the formula. She's staying. And next up, we have the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials Palette. <laughs> love this packaging how cute is this packaging 
and then you open the doors and this is the colour story um, I'm still making my mind up on this one um, when I wore I, I did create a really beautiful look with with that I do have to admit but I had these two shades on my lid um, Pride and Mama Tutorials and they really cracked I am going to try them with different primers different bases to see what I can do but they cracked and split really bad on my eyelids so we shall see I'm going to play with that one some more and and see where we go with that and next up we have the Beauty Bay Pastels palette this one still hasn't gone on my eyes yet but look at those colors they are gorgeous yep need to need to get this one on my eyes and then next up we have the Saharan by Juvia's uh, Juvia's place look <laughs> I love what they do with the artwork and these are the colors this is a beautiful palette it's perfect work palette absolutely love it love it love it love it I love it so that one's staying and then next up we have the Miali Beauty Ayubia palette um, I believe this is a limited edition look at her she's so beautiful the formula is amazing I love the formula of this palette absolutely love it can't wait to get some more from Miali Beauty definitely staying and then next, the Nakis Beauty, the musical palette. <laughs> I love the packaging on this one. And this is what she looks like. As you can see, it's very much a Steph palette. Um, again, I really enjoyed the formula. These are so pigmented, so pigmented, um, but really easy to work with. Love her, she's staying. And then next up, we have the Beauty Bay 16 Colour Brights Palette. And uh, she looks like this. Absolutely love her. These shades are beautiful. So pigmented, so blendable. I just... After using this, I was expecting the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay Palette to be out of this world. Um... But didn't quite live up to this I'm afraid um, so far I will keep trying the Nikki tutorials and Beauty Bay palette but this is amazing if you are looking for bright colors that are easy to work with very pigmented this is an amazing palette love it so next so next we have the Festival by Juvia's Place. Again, beautiful artwork on the packaging and these are the colors. I love these colors, need to play with this some more. I think this is gonna be a good halloween -y palette. Let me know what you think. But yeah, she's staying. Crikey, I'm creating quite the uh, mountain over here. And then next we have the Makeup Obsession Ruddy Daydream Palette. The kids got me this for Christmas last year and I love it. The formula is amazing. Amazing. And these colours, they just, they're so stunning. And this silver, this silver shimmer is so foiled. It is the bomb. I absolutely love it. The colours, they're so easy to work with. And I love it. Staying. And next is Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. Now, this one is a neutral palette that I do love the tones of. Really, really love this. Beautiful work palette, especially. Um, or if I just want a a nice natural neutral day which is not very often but I love that one next up the warrior 2 by Juvia's this one is an all matte palette oh we've gone out of focus this one's an all matte palette um, but 
the shades are stunning absolutely stunning i love it definitely going nowhere and now we are down to the final four palettes um i haven't used any of these yet they're all new and you won't have seen them so the first up is the lowest cosmetics gone rogue palette and she looks to take that out like this i'm so so excited to try this palette how stunning and that glitter look at that glitter oh my god i i can't wait to try this so that will be coming up very soon and 100 percent going nowhere none of these last ones will they're all brand new and uh i haven't tried them yet so let's get rid of that bit of plastic and then next up we have the september rose cosmetics the brew palette now you might ask yourself why i would buy myself another neutral palette because i'm not so neutral but look at those colors now this this is my idea of a neutral palette this is what i call the perfect neutral palette i can't wait to try i've heard such wonderful things about the september rose cosmetics formula so i am so excited to try that one then next up september rose cosmetics again this is the slush palette look at the artwork on that it's just perfect summer it looks like a holiday um but the inside take the plastic sheet again it looks like this how stunning does that look it is a beautiful rainbow palette and i have heard so many people so many youtubers rave about this palette i have wanted this for so long and finally she is in my collection and i cannot wait to try her out i cannot wait how stunning is that color story seriously so another one going nowhere so finally, I saved this one for last because I am extremely excited about it. I created my own custom palette with We Cosmetics, which is an Italian indie brand. Um, this is the packaging, but this is my colour story. This shade did break in the post, unfortunately, but I created this colour story myself how stunning does she look I'm, I'm just so excited because i know i can create so many different looks with this palette i'm just hoping and praying that the formula is really really good um because if it is i will be creating more because this was so much fun to do so much fun and they come all separately and then you put them in where you want them it was it was just a really fun process really fun process so uh i will be trying this out soon but yes my own creation love it absolutely love it so yeah that is the entirety of the collection so let's have a look at what we have decluttered now if I've counted correctly, there were 57 in total at the beginning, and I have decluttered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 palettes. So there is the Elf Bite Size in Rose Water. Absolutely nothing wrong with these palettes. Poppy's barking. Um, this formula is stunning. It's just not a colour story that I really wear and the same again this uh, little I heart revolution dark chocolate palette I don't use it 
and the I Heart Revolution a white chocolate palette and she's going the I Heart Revolution mint the I Heart Revolution and chocolate orange The Tarte Golden Days and Sultry Nights. The Steeler Matte and Metal. Oops. That's very loud. Um, the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom. The Too Faced Just Peachy Mats. I'm going to have one very excited daughter. Uh, the Zoeva Warm Spectrum. The BH Cosmetics Supernova. And the Revolution Pro New Neutral. So yes, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, twelve down. Feeling quite good about this. Feeling quite good. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've made it to the end, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see videos with. And so, yeah, that's it from me for today. Um, again, if you've liked this, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider sticking around. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.